Julius, how does it feel to guard a guy who makes Kofi Coburn look small? <laughs> no, it was tough. Um, I mean, the whole, the whole game was pretty much a battle. Uh, I knew he was going to get some shots because he's just so much taller than me. But my goal was just to make it harder for him to get those shots. And I kind of felt like I did that, but, uh, you know, our game plan wasn't to double because we don't want to get the shooters, uh, leave the shooters wide open. So he got more points than he probably would have. But, um, you know, I did the best I could to make it harder for him. I wondered a little bit about that kind of almost pick your poison. I mean, they're a good three-point shooting team, and when you have to give up something, I guess, and it's on you and, and Marcus and Madi to kind of be the anchors down there, and, and Joey, I, I guess, how do you guys as big men take that challenge when someone is that significantly bigger? I mean, I, I, I love it. You know, it's, I love playing against big guys. Let's see if I can move them out the way. Um, I mean, it is a little bit tougher, you know, as the game comes on, and uh, you know, you gotta make sure you just wear him down a little bit more. Uh, I tried to do my best on the offensive end and make him run. Just you know, I have to get back out uh, and transition to come get me, or to come up on ball screens. He really didn't get played that high on ball screens. He probably st started at the free throw line, I think. So just making sure he just run all over the place and get tired that way. And that way, when he gets back on the offensive end, it's just a little bit harder for him. Julius, um, can you tell us when you first found out that you were going to be starting today and what your mindset was, um, especially going in? With tough matchup with Williams and Ed, uh, I mean there was we had talked about you know what would be the best lineup we needed to find a change, find a spark somehow, some way. So uh, I think I found out a couple of days ago that you know I'd probably be in the lineup. We were you know working on it in practice, different things and stuff. And so um, you know it, it felt good to come out there and start it out. And we had a great start. We haven't been having great starts lately. So I'm glad we came out and was was able to come out and uh, have a great start today. Honestly. That was fun. Jules, it's been a while since you guys have been able to string together wins, but considering the way things have, go have been going, mm -hmm. do you feel like today can be that moment where things kind of start going back the other direction? Oh, for sure. I mean, it's a step forward. Uh, you know, that anytime you're in a losing streak, the, the only thing that's going to help out is winning, right? So we had to win this one today, uh, get our confidence back up, and we got a big one Tuesday at Michigan. So uh, that's going to be a, you know, a tough one there. Julius, you uh, rough day at the free throw line for you, but you stepped up and hit those two big free throws. What was going through your mind when you had to when you stepped up for those free throws? Uh, this is not to worry about the other ones. Uh, my teammates on the bench were telling me about it because I just said, you know, I, the, you know, missing free throws. I usually don't miss free throws, so I got in my head about it. And Jay Nathan's and David Smith kind of helped me out, telling me, hey, look, you're gonna probably get fouled again. You're gonna make these other ones. You got to get out of your head right now. So I got in my head, got fouled again, and I was like, you know, what? I'm not missing these. So I went to the line and knocked him down. Julius, Gabe was just in here praising you, obviously. But for him, just how, when he's hitting his shots like that, how much better can you guys be? So much better. Uh, that's what we've been missing the last couple of games. Uh, we need to find a way to get him going. You know, he had a little bit of slump going on. But today was a great day for Gabe. I'm so glad for him. Um, you know, proud of him. Him and Max. Max had a great game today, too. So for them to get that rhythm and get going, this is kind of perfect timing for him because starting to get down to the end of the season. We need to, we need to make a you know, good run. Uh, to end the season and have the, the you know good seating for the Big Ten tournament, so them playing great will be will be huge for us. Julius, there was a point in the uh, second half when you had six straight points. I think eight of your team's eleven in that stretch. How tough is it for you to find your offense while trying to hold water on the defensive end or hold your weight rather on the defensive end at the same time? I mean, uh, I don't. It's not like I look for that kind of stuff when I'm playing. Uh, I just like to make plays. They happen to give me the ball in positions where I know I can make a play. So I, you know, I credit my teammates to that one. Uh, I'm not really too worried about scoring every possession or scoring when I haven't scored in a while. Like I think I had two points at half. I didn't even know, so, you know. So it's, it's like if they give it to me and I have an opportunity to score, I'm going to do that and then get back on the defensive end and do my job there. So you mentioned that in the middle of a losing streak, that, that getting a win mm -hmm. is the big thing. But one of the things that coach talked about was how you guys won this game. Um, how important is that for you guys moving forward, just seeing the product of some of the work and maybe doing some of the things that hadn't been there in other games? Oh, yeah, for sure. This was huge because it was, you know, we had a team come in the locker room and talk to us as a, as a tough win, as a Spartan win. That's like how we play. You know, we play tough, we go get the rebounds, we play hard, you know, it's going to be a fight. And I think we did that today. We haven't been doing that the last couple of games, and I felt like we actually fight, or we actually fought today and it was ready to go. Julius, what, what specifically do you remember from that huddle right before Tyson shot? 
Uh, I remember seeing the play, and uh, I was like, uh, we were talking on the bench, and we were like, I don't, I don't think that's going to be there. Right? I think they're going to just switch because we didn't, they didn't really switch all day. But I was like, I had a feeling they were going to switch, or switch it out. And they were talking about, uh, I think it was, who was on the bench? I think Marky, Marky was on the bench, and other guys were like, look, if they get the switch on Tyson, he's going to hit this shot. <laughs> so we're all on the bench, like, oh, this is going in. And they switched out with Trayvon. He had his hands down, and he did the step back move, and you know, the rest was history. So. Great. Uh, I mean, I love it. Uh, I, I, we've been waiting on this for a while. I felt like early on in the season, he didn't have that confidence the way he needed to. And, you know, he got his own way. He just started playing basketball and started having more fun with it. And you can see that. And he hit that shot today. And that just shows you that, you know, he's been having more fun. Yeah. Uh, Julius, Ivy obviously ended up getting his, you know, 16 total points. But you guys also forced him into five turnovers, which tied his career high. And, you know, when Coach Izzo was up here, he mentioned that, you know, it takes kind of an army to guard him. But certainly while he was in the game, A.J. seemed to take kind of the primary responsibility of doing that. So how much, how much can you say about A.J.'s performance against Ivy today? Oh, no, it was amazing. I kind of knew he was talking to me all week. Like, they better put me on Ivy. I'm going to make sure he has a tough day. And like you said, five turnovers, he, you know, that, was, that shows what he did today. And he got, I think he got a couple steals on him and went and got layups. So he took that challenge upon him. For this whole week, he was just telling us the whole time, like, look, he's not going to get anything easy. He's going to work for everything he's going to get today, and we're going to win this game. So, uh, Julius, uh, Ed and Williams had 36 points, but they also had nine turnovers, yeah. and that's only one less than your whole team had. How does it feel to play a game where you guys get nine more shots? <laughs> it feels great. You know, that's what Coach has been talking about a lot. I don't know since I, I've been here, right? Just. Limit the turnovers, do this, do that, you know, stop turning the ball over. And it's great to be on the other side of that now where, what are we at, nine turnovers? And that's what it was? Yeah, ten. We had ten turnovers. So, uh, you know, it's great to be on the other side of that. And they have, they have way more than us. And we don't have to hear about him saying that too much uh, tomorrow. So, Just one thing. I know who starts is a little overrated. You all split minutes, especially the bigs. Mm -hmm. But you had one of your better games. Did the start energize you at all? Uh, no, I honestly I felt like I was I was really nervous on the start because it was you know a big game Purdue. Uh, I started last year a couple of games, but it wasn't the same. We had fans in here, so it's kind of crazy. I'm like taking it all in, and so I felt like I came out a little slow, a little flat. And then you know, coach told me about look, come on, you know, you got we need you this and that. And after that, I just started playing harder. I don't really I felt like it kind of affected me a little bit in a way, but you know. <laughs> Julius, uh, how would you describe your confidence <clears throat> on offense right now in your game there? I mean, five for five today. You've been shooting over 50% for like four or five games in a row. Now we've been seeing more of that, that elbow shot, the baby hook you talked about the other day, all those things. Just where you at and uh, how you're feeling about that part? Oh, I'm very confident. Uh, it starts with my teammates, AJ, Tyson. You know, they're all, they always give me the ball in certain situations. Other guards, Max, uh, Gabe, you know, Jaden, all of them look for me. So. You know, and they're, they're always trusting me. Like, you know, you know you can get a bucket whenever you can, you know. So them instilling that, you know, encouragement kind of helped me out a lot last so-and-so, you know, having many weeks I've been playing pretty good, I guess. And, um, you know, it's kind of just rolling over now. Anything else for uh, Julius? Thanks, Julius. All right.